Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're live. Hey, what's up, guys? Tip and Tara here from Fit to Travel. Happy New Year, um, 2024. Hope you guys had a good night and um, welcome to the first episode of Where to Next. Um, we've been planning this for quite a while now. Um, and what it is, is we're going to pick one lucky winner every month from um, our audience, from our Patreon. And then we're going to send you a questionnaire from our Google Sheets. And, uh, and it's going to ask you questions on where you want your next trip to be. And then we're going to have our lovely Tara over here help you plan that trip and try to get you on the first step to doing that. Yeah, we get asked a lot, like, how do we plan the trip? So we thought it would be a good idea to just kind of walk through uh, my process. I would say our process, but it's all <laughs> my process. Um, and just kind of get you feeling more comfortable with how to actually plan a trip and the things that go into it. Um, so just by going through it, it'll get a little bit more comfortable for you guys to do. Um, so if you want to be one of our guinea pigs, make sure you join our Patreon. Um, we'll be choosing one lucky member every month to do this. So um, we'll put the Patreon link down below um, so you can join that. And we have a very special guest today for our very first live. Our friend Marinda is here. Hey, Marinda, What's up? Oh, one second. I can't hear you. Let me see. What, what's going on here? Technical difficulty difficulties <laughs> I can't hear you let me see let me try it again Did you... sorry peeps let me try that again let's bring her in okay um hello oh no what's going on here cannot hear her one second <laughs> Yep, hold on. No, no mute. Mic. We tried all of this the other day. I don't know, Marina, maybe we can have you re sign in. Oh, actually, no, I know. My bad. Hello. Hello. Yes, there it is. <laughs> I just had you on mute. That's my fault. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. This is Marinda, finally. <laughs> Hi. This is why I'm the guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Hopefully it runs smoother um, as we get along. As we get I'm sure it will. <laughs> yeah. There's always uh, something. It's okay. <laughs> All right, so Marinda, we sent her a questionnaire and um, she filled it out and um, and it basically just kind of asked where she wants to go and then kind of what she likes to do when she travels. Um, and then, so why don't you let our audience know where it is that you want us to look for your next trip for? Yeah, I asked to like into a trip to South America, um, pretty flexible as to like the exact location and what that, like the whole trip is going to look like. Basically, you know, a couple of weeks, 10 to 14 days, and hopefully it ends up being somewhere cool. Um, <laughs> I also said that I was open to like travel kind of in between the trip, or, like if there's an, a, a mid flight in between where we head from one place to the next. That sounds good too. Awesome. So you've never been to South America? Nope. Nope. All right. So now let's see where um, the first steps would be to get to, or what Tara would do. So, one second here. All right. So the first step for us is always the flight. Um, Miranda is also coming from Portland, where we are, and so um, knowing that Portland doesn't have the best flight options, so um, since you're pretty flexible, we're just going to look for the flight first and kind of look in the South America 
continent and um, narrow down from there. So I like to use Google Flights, especially if you don't have um, any specific place in mind and you're also pretty flexible on the time frame too. So yeah. um, Google Flights, you can just go to explore um, and you can actually like look at the whole map and put in when you want to go. We're just gonna go um, South America and search there and kind of see what comes up. So you can look at any time in the next six months, which would be good for you, or we can also do like a later in the fall or summer fall too, since you kind of said any time besides November to January-ish. So we have a lot of flexibility. So um, I just kind of glance through, kind of see what our flight options are looking like in the beginning um, and then we can kind of narrow down based on some of the prices um, too. So let's see. Do you have a place where you're like, man, I really, really want to go see that? Not really. No. <laughs> She's very flexible. Copacabana Beach in Brazil. <laughs> I I think that I look at travel like there's there's going to be opportunities in the future to go to those other places too. So I mean, yeah. place that I can check off a list is good for me. Yeah. Yeah. How um, like I know you're flexible on timing. How how soon would you like to do the trip, or like how um, far out would you want to look? Well, we could look out obviously through just like this travel season, so the summer, fall. Um, but even like out into 2025 would be good too. And is like and then, April or May too early? No. Nope. Okay. So you're open. So yeah. we're actually going to do, we're going to go like May. And we're going to go up to two weeks. Now, I know this, but our audience probably doesn't, but you are pretty well-versed in travel, you'd say? Yeah, for the most part. I've traveled a lot around mostly Europe and then the U.S. has been a lot of places, so I like to think so, but this <laughs> is good for me. I am yeah. not much of a travel planner, so... Yeah, so that's what I was going to ask. So when you have, like, done that trip, what was that planning process like for you? Oh, it's like I get notifications on my phone for cheap flights, and I'm like, oh, that flight looks good. <laughs> Bye. and then like a couple of weeks before I'm like oh I actually probably need to think about like where I'm gonna stay or like mm. maybe I don't know anything like that <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very similar to you in that sense yeah. because I have Tara and um, <laughs> so usually like there are times I'll know a little bit of stuff that we're doing but mm -hmm. usually I'll get there and it's like the first day I'm like, okay, what's going on today? Even though she's told me several times, I just, I just block it out because it's like, you know, I already know she's got everything taken care of. So I'm, I'm very blessed in that sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there can be a lot that goes into it. Um, if, I mean, if you're pretty flexible, then it makes it easier, but, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to, since you have status on Delta, I'm going to um, narrow our search down by Delta, just kind of see what that brings up since that will kind of clear some of the flights out. Status on Delta, what are you, platinum? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would say I'm low level status on Delta. <laughs> That's the only say, airline that flies into my hometown, so. <laughs> <laughs> I would say preferred uh, airline is Delta, I should say. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's just take a look. We're going to look at Lima, Peru. Um, check out what kind of flight options these are. So, we're going to have a one stop, um, four and a half hour layover in LAX, or a two hour, two and a half hour layover. Either one is about the same going. Let's see, mm -hmm. coming back. What are your feelings on layovers? Like for us, I mean, generally when Tara's booking, she'll say, hey, you know, I got this and it's, 
two to three hundred dollars cheaper but it's a eight hour lower layover as opposed to a four hour layover like are you willing to save that two to three hundred bucks for the layover and spend would, like four to five hours more i would say generally yeah um my travel as of late like the last few years has seemed like all of my layovers have been so short that there's not any time to do anything but get off and run uh-huh. um, so I do appreciate a longer layover every once in a while for the airport. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think depending on where you're going and the situation and the time, it's like ideally like two to three hours is really good. Anything yeah. like longer than that. I mean, if you're coming back into the United States internationally, like four hours, I think is a good time so that you can get your stuff, recheck your bags and then grab some food. But yeah. Um, But yeah, there are times where, you know, when we've traveled and then we've had to do like an 18 hour layover and those, those are tough because it's like, do you spend the money to get a hotel or you just sit around in the hotel or sit around in the airport? Yeah. Yeah. I think I had a nine hour layover at JFK, I think going to Italy and that was a little bit long to be in JFK. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I think it depends on the airport for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay, so I'm just going to start writing down some options. So um, when you get to the page where it has like the total flight price, you're obviously going to have a couple different options on what the actual price is. And I know you know this, but not everybody knows. Um, Basic economy is going to be like no seat selection. You're going to have to pay for a checked bag. So even though it's cheaper, I don't necessarily think it's a better option. Um, If you don't care about any of that stuff, then it's probably fine. But for something like this where you're going international we would not choose this um but everyone is different based on how they want to but you can see the difference just on that it's 170 dollars more um but you also get your checked bag free and have a seat and stuff like that so um mm-hmm. just because it's saying up at the top 720 dollars doesn't necessarily mean that's going to be your total ticket price which i think confuses a lot of people um and if we were going to go ahead and book it we would just go continue and it will take us to the Delta page. But we're going to kind of, I wrote that option down, just kind of price-wise dates, and we're going to kind of look at some other places in South America and see what else we have. Because Peru obviously is cool. Um, Lima, Peru. <laughs> I know all of the capitals for all the uh south america and the central Spanish america yeah. yeah because my spanish teacher came up with this song and um it helped me out so it's just like it's still stuck in my head i don't know if they came up, up, came well, up whatever my spanish teacher did that too <laughs> the same okay what <laughs> caracas venezuela <laughs> lima peru la paz bolivia <laughs> okay so now let's check at this tip's gonna sing us all the capitals while we do this um Cartagena, if we look at this, Cartagena. So we have, we all know I'm not good at my <laughs> Spanish accents. Um, so we have a cheaper flight with two stops, LAX mm-hmm. and ATL, or a one stop for a little bit, you know, uh, well, currently $60 more, we'll see after the final thing. But mm-hmm. which would you rather, the cheaper for two stops or more expensive with one stop? I think I'm taking three hours in Atlanta over yeah. these tops. <laughs> I would agree. Okay, and then coming back, all of them about the same total time. Two stops again or one stop, but it's 13 hours in Atlanta. So you have two stops. <laughs> let's see. Two stops, ATL and LAX. I mean, you got 11 hours in ATL and two hours in LA. You can see a lot in ATL in 12 to 13 hours. Well, the problem is it's usually an overnight. Yeah, well. Yeah. I'm I mean, just joking. If you want to be looking <laughs> just, out You can night. go to ch- every Chick-fil-A in the area. Um. Or what we can do is we can kind of maneuver our dates and see if anything is better coming back. But 
She's used to layovers because you got to go back home to Michigan from Portland. Yeah, it's just a few going. It's two going back too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Sometimes three. <laughs> The longest layover we've had is what probably like 22 hours something roughly something like that which is just we usually always get a hotel room when that happens because that's yeah. just an entire day basically okay well just for these purpose reasons we're just going to Pick one and get an yeah. idea. 709. Because also, since you mentioned that you could, you're interested in maybe, you know, bumping around South America, we could always try to look for another stop, like fly into Cartagena and then another stop and then come back to Portland from there. Yeah. If this doesn't have a very good flight coming back. So I had a client that just went to Cartagena, Colombia for a bachelorette party mm -hmm. and she absolutely loved it. Mm -hmm. They, um, she had a great time and it was, now I haven't been there yet, but I hear it's uh, a, an awesome place. That's something that we haven't really attacked yet, South America. I don't know why. Yeah, we have not been to South America. We get close when we go to the Caribbean, <laughs> but I don't know, we've just never made that jump. Yeah. Maybe this will inspire us right now. Yeah, okay, and then... We'll see you guys there. <laughs> <laughs> then I also... So that was just looking in May, so we can also pick a few other months. Um, the flexible dates on the Explorer will go out six months, but you can okay. always just put in, like, random dates, which I'll show you in, like, September, let's say. So this is... I'm just yeah. going to kind of... Take a peek here at. Do you speak Spanish? Uh, I need to probably take a little. <laughs> <course>. <laughs> Just need a few things: baño, bathroom. Yeah. I the so. basic down, but I like to learn <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I'd like to learn a little bit more. Google Translate is nice these days. Yeah, it's come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> so Bogota has a pretty good flight selection. Okay. Some one stops for pretty okay. reasonable. $900 with the main cabin. Mm -hmm. So that's another good one. And for anyone watching, you can always track prices. So if you're not ready to book, but you want to keep an eye on it, you just go up here in the top corner and you would click this over and then it'll give you like a little um, notification. So now I'm going to be sub subscribed to Bogota. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so yeah, this one would be June 1st to 16th. Yeah, so if you're a person that is like really cares about the price of like the ticket, how much you pay, what we generally do is like we have a long list of places we want to go and Tara will keep track of those spots and then she'll be like oh boom uh, Bogota is only 600 bucks to go to in May or whatever and I'll be like let's book it and then that's how we generally start like planning our stuff is like let's just try to get the cheapest possible fare with like very low uh, very short turnover times uh, layover times and then we're just like all right and then we start booking off of that so that's generally why we start with the flights first because it's just you're like okay well we only paid six hundred dollars to get here and then we start to fill in everything after that yeah especially coming from portland for us if you're coming from a harder airport you don't have as many as much options to kind of pick and choose Okay, Even so Portland's now... Even Portland's kind of tough sometimes. What's that? Even Portland's kind of tough sometimes. Totally. Yeah. yeah. No, it is. it is. There's nothing is easy to get to. Normally we got to go to LAX, SFO, or SeaTac. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to look at one more date, some random dates in September, um, and you can mosey around in here once we kind of get an idea, too. Um, just going to kind of see if there's anything 
if price is any different or any better options in some of those places. So mm -hmm. um, I don't know too much about weather in South America at these times either. So that's going to yeah. be our next our next option is kind of get some ideas on what time of year is like a good time to go and depending on what you want to do. Um, so yeah, I have no clue. I imagine they're opposite of us, kind of so. ish, um, give or take. Yeah, hurricane we'll season in South America is like May to November, so that would be the exact time that I'd like to be there. Yeah, let's see, it's called uh, Bogota. So Bogota has one stop. Right now, Bogota is 67 and cloudy. All right, so yeah, they're kind of, yeah, kind of like springish weather right now. So coming back is a little bit longer. 60% humidity. Yeah, um, you mentioned hurricane season. That's one thing that we always, a lot of people steer away from places when they say that but like we've gone to plenty of places during hurricane season i think that's all just luck of the draw yeah totally I mean, yeah. get insurance if you're going during that time yeah. but obviously yeah. it's like you never know yeah knock on wood that you know it never happens to us like getting stuck in something like that but we've been pretty lucky and it's just all like to us the the value of saving money and getting a cheap deal during those off seasons is uh is worth it risking it okay. to us yeah yeah okay so now that we kind of have a few like options um flight options we can move on to like the next step which i would just talking about like the weather and that kind of stuff i would go into kind of looking at um weather in columbia um let's go april wait no let's go may after we do all this you better be ready to push purchase and go <laughs> okay we'll see okay <laughs> i'm just joking um, if not i'm gonna do it go solo perfect <laughs> Now that you have it planned for you. Yeah, right. I mean, so so Tara's doing this all very quickly right now. But, like, she generally takes, you know, throughout the the free time, time that we have. Yeah, she just, she's constantly always doing this. And, and um, right now, this is kind of in turbo mode for her. But she does this, like, just on her free time for fun. But I love it because we benefit from getting these places for as cheap as possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So May, Bogota is like, you know, high 60s is the max average. That looks great weather to me. Um, okay, <laughs> that that's a good option. So let's scroll through and kind of see what else we want to go. September, kind of see. So September is a little bit warmer. Um, four and a half inches of rain. September might be a little bit rainier. Let's see. Mm, nope, April's rainier. So, whoops. You don't mind the rain. You live in Portland. Yeah, I'm prepared. <laughs> so, rainier in June. Have you been to like um, Central America at all? No. 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 Is Europe kind of like your only international place that you've gone to? Yeah. Well, one thing I think you're like with, I mean, we haven't been to South America, like I said, but like, you know, Central America, those, they are generally a lot cheaper when you're there. So. Yeah. Excuse me. 
Okay. So that really helps. So we're looking at Peru now. May is like 72 degrees, high, low of 63, mm -hmm. five days of rain. So very similar to... Um, and let's do... Machu Picchu. Are they... I heard they were talking about... Um, and this was probably like a year ago that they were like gonna limit the amount of people that can go there to try to help preserve a lot of stuff. I don't know if you've heard that in the past. Probably, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. It, a lot of places are doing like lottery, lottery permits and stuff now mm -hmm. for yeah those types of places. Yeah, that and I heard Santorino was one of them too, right? Because they were getting yeah, that's what I thought. Or they were trying to limit the amount of cruise ships or whatever, because it's it's pretty intense once the cruise ships it. Yeah. Like in Santorini. Yeah. All right, and then Cartagena is a little bit hotter, high of eighty nine, mm -hmm. and low of seventy nine. So a little bit warmer in Cartagena, just to kind of give you an idea. Okay. You looking for the heat or the rain? <laughs> <laughs> I am not a hot weather person. <laughs> mm. I think Bogota <laughs> weather was preferred for her. Yeah. Okay. So okay. that settles but, that. But I can put up with it for a little yeah. while. <laughs> so the other thing, um, now that we kind of know the weather, is we're just going to look. I'm going to go and look at, like, um, the possibility of doing maybe a little jump jumping around. Um, so if we use this September um, t September 10th to 24th to Bogota as like our um, temporary plan. Okay. Um, so let's do like, now it's just kind of researching. So it's 10 to 14 days in Bogota. Columbia See, had you picked a place Oops. that we had already been to, we could have just gone straight to our blog and then <laughs> gone through that, but you made it a little would, hard on us. That would be no fun. <laughs> Fittotravel.com. We're going to learn about South America. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to wake up like, babe, I really want to go to South America for some reason. <laughs> But not, I mean, I want to go there, but I won't get as far because in Brazil, because they uh, speak Portuguese there. Oh. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Fun fact? Makes sense. <laughs> Does it? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought they would be like similar because I, I have a buddy who took portuguese in college and he's like no they're like completely different which yeah. is pretty wild let's try so what would you do at either of these places like are you you just like to sightsee you like to um experience the culture or you like to eat what is the the main thing that you like to do like that you would love to do in south america yeah um i really like trying to like get all of those like really touristy places out of the way very quickly and mm -hmm. then really just kind of like dive in and try to experience culture from like the eyes of the locals make sure that i'm like chatting with folks and and like trying to be social and getting to know like their lives um and like i like to take like maybe a cooking class or something like that i love to eat um yeah kind of hang really just like hanging out and who knows what's going to come up to me and what we're gonna exactly get up to <laughs> yeah like when you were in europe like what was the coolest part of that trip like that really yeah. stood out or there might be a couple of things but what really stood out yeah 
Um, when I was in Spain, I was, had my mom was there with me, and we took a cooking class and a salsa dancing class with just like some woman in her apartment, and it was like so much fun. Um, and we got to make friends from that, and that's kind of like the the activity that I'm really looking to do when I travel. Those types of things. Um, when I was in Italy, I stayed with, we had a foreign exchange student when I was in high school, so I stayed with her and her family, so really did get, like, a deep dive into their kind of everyday lives and, like, the places that they like to see, and, um, so that was a little bit different, but, yeah. For sure, that's definitely our favorite part of traveling also, is, like, meeting the locals and getting away. I mean, we, we do enjoy going to see all the sightseeing stuff, but, like, the best thing is literally like when we meet a local and we get to actually talk and figure out like what their lives are about and i mean we've had some of those experiences where we've had people just would be on a beach somewhere and then you know their house is down the road and they're invite us over they're like you want to come over for dinner and you know it's nothing creepy i don't think at least but but like we've been invited to parties here and there and they just want to they just want to get to know you and then we we do the same so it's like I think that's the main thing why we are always trying to find new places to go. It's like we could always go back to the same places that we've been, but like let's go try something else because it's like I want to see what this culture has to offer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just doing a little bit of research in the background on <laughs> like getting around Colombia. Um, I know you said public transportation is good for you, so... Yeah, so you're comfortable with that? Like, you're comfortable with, like, taking the bus and not, like... Because there are some people, you know, which is totally fine. Like, I prefer to drive if if I can. But also, yeah. it's... I don't... It depends on it's where we're at, right? Like, if it's in, like, Italy and it's just super busy and there's just, like, I don't really care to at that point. Mm-hmm. But... Um, but, you know, like on a Cook Islands or something where there's just one road around. <laughs> like, it's, um, yeah, I prefer, I mean, we're up for anything. Like, whatever the, the um, whatever the, the country has to offer. But you, you like taking public transportation when you travel? Yeah, if that's, you know, if that's like the best, not necessarily the best way to get around. I don't want to rent a car. I don't want to drive in another country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Have you ever? Especially if you're by yourself. Oh, I think. yeah. You know, wow. solo, solo traveling. Not as. So it's safe to say you haven't driven on the other side of the. Yeah, it's pretty I'm wild. Accidentally here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Tara, usually I'm the driver when we travel, which is mm-hmm. fair enough. You know, she does all the all of the uh, the planning, but it's driving on the other side of the road. That's one thing that's like it's it's hard to get used to. Yeah. I don't have the patience for that. No. Okay, so public, public transportation looks good. Sorry, what were you going to say, Miranda? Oh, yeah, public transportation is great. Or even just, you know, taxis or whatever that looks like. I don't... A lot of places are starting to have, and we experienced this when we were just in South Asia, Southeast Asia, but they're having their own version of Uber and Lyft. Oh, yeah. um, which is very very has like when we were just in Vietnam that was very very efficient and you know Vietnam is pretty cheap compared to where we're at so like we're talking about we would take trips and it'd be like a buck fifty at most or something and that'd be going like yeah. a far something that would be like 30 bucks here in the states so it's mm-hmm. so that's one thing to to be mindful too of is like when you go into a place, go into a different country, is look up and see if they have, uh, not every place has Uber, but they have their own version of it, so. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How to get around, yeah. It looks like the bus system is pretty good in both the, um, Bogota and Medellin, the Metro and Trans Millennio bus network. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then also, like, popping back over to Google Flights, I just kind of searched a one-way Bogota to other South America countries. So, like, Cartagena is $26 for a one-way. Medellin is 21 So, pretty yeah. 
affordable. It's like, uh, this is an hour and a half, it looks like, um, flight. So mm -hmm. pretty easy to like jump around, you know, jump around for a couple nights in Egypt, especially if you're going to be able to go for like two weeks. There's mm -hmm. plenty of time to bop around. So mm -hmm. do you like to, cause this is a difference in Tara and I, and we try to meet in the middle. But, like, do you like to just go, go, go? Like, do you want every day to just kind of be filled? Or would you prefer, like, you know, more relaxing and then just kind of go by the flow, mm -hmm. go with the flow? Um, maybe, maybe it's somewhere in the middle. I'm not – I'm, like, such a planner in my everyday life. Like, <laughs> yeah. that when I, when I get out of the country, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> yeah whatever um, it's whatever but i want yeah. but i want to be doing something definitely like the entire time okay yeah well because like i mean we we meet in the middle we do a pretty good job it's generally mostly like two days of go 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 and then one day off of like just yeah. what i want to do is sit by the beach and drink beer or just like whatever and then we'll go like two or three days go 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 but it's just you know i <clears throat> I enjoy the go, go, go. I love seeing stuff, but it's also like, you know, those days where we have like four to five things planned and it's just like, because we also have to wake up for sunrise and then we got to make sure we watch sunset. So it's yeah. like, it's a packed day, you don't but I love to. it. Huh? You can stay in the room. <laughs> I don't have to, but I have to. No, it's a it's a good balance, but there you know there are some of the, some of those people that are just like, you know, my life's so busy. I just literally yeah. want to sit on the beach, read a book, or have a beverage. Yeah. But I definitely could probably use one of those vacations. So <laughs> <laughs> have you ever one. Have you ever had one of those? Oh my god, no! The last time that I remember, like sitting on the beach and just like chilling, I was eight in Jamaica for my aunt's wedding. Oh, <laughs> oh well, I'm that way too. It's not, it doesn't <laughs> doesn't work that? Oh, way. you love it though. Like when a we day did those or two, moments. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, you you know we got married on the beach in Jamaica also, but we weren't eight years so. <laughs> old. <laughs> Yeah, I celebrated my eighth birthday on the beach. There That's their pretty wedding. dope. It's a cool do, you spot. Know, do you know where it was? Was it at, like on a resort? Yeah, or do you remember? We were, a, we were at a resort, but I don't remember which one it was. <laughs> okay. That's cool, though. I mean, this was 20 years ago, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's cool. I don't know. I, yeah. got, I got lots of memories from when I was young. Yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, well, you text her right now and ask her. Okay, Tell her to I get will. on the live and then talk on the <laughs> chat. Yeah. Speaking of that, did Jake fall asleep? I don't know. I text him. <laughs> Is this too boring for you, Jake? <laughs> um, so Reddit is a pretty good... Um, I mean, it, you kind of have to filter out some things on Reddit, but um, you can find some pretty good information on travel itineraries places to stay things to do um so like reddit trip advisor um lonely oh, yeah. planet sometimes those are good mm -hmm. things to just kind of pop in and i i personally don't like to just look at one thing and then be like okay that's it that's what my trip's gonna be i like to i'm also yeah. a researcher though so i like to kind of get a few different ideas and then start to build my own um yeah. but it's good to kind of find like the best things to do and like especially for for me i don't know that much about south america so mm -hmm. um learning about you know tips and tricks on like getting around or that kind of stuff um so generally tara will look up almost everything that you can do in the area and then she'll present it to me like they got this 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 and this mm -hmm. and yeah. then and then it's like more of a plan to like okay these are what's here and then when we get there it's like okay well do you want to do this today or that today and it's just and i i like it that way because it's more of a mm -hmm. like you know i'm introduced to it but then it's also like then it's like eh, well i don't really want to do that or whatnot but it ends up working out we generally always go to most of the places but yeah
I never knew you went on Reddit to do to look at the stuff. I like don't that. do Reddit a whole lot, but every now and then you can find some good stuff. Yeah, this seems like a good thread. Yeah. Like if you find a good like this is a solo travel one too, so it's perfect yeah. for you. Um mm-hmm. and this girl, I think she said she's twenty four organizing okay. a two week trip, so um, and it's and it's pretty recent, seven months ago. So that's the other thing is yeah. like sometimes you find things from like five years ago, and that's obviously before COVID. It's changed, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it it is good. Sometimes again, you have to like take it with a grain of salt, but mm-hmm. um, <clears throat> uh, how long ago was it that you went on your Europe trip? Oh my gosh. I went to Spain in 2018, Italy uh-huh. in like 2017, and that I had a trip planned to Iceland in June of 2020, which I obviously didn't go uh. on. So <laughs> that that's like I haven't traveled anywhere since COVID. Mm. Anywhere outside of like Michigan and going home and stuff. Basically, yep. Michigan and South mm-hmm. Dakota. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Go to South Dakota. Yeah. You know, maybe we can do an episode where you can help us plan trips in Michigan and South Dakota. Here for it. Any of the <laughs> continental U.S. I've got you guys as your expert. <laughs> <laughs> really want to go to Iowa. I got you. Oh, okay. Indiana. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot to do in Iowa. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've driven through those states and uh, they are... Uh, very flat. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't actually, yeah, I didn't, I didn't really stop and spend too much time in there. I'm sure it's beautiful there. Don't get me wrong if anybody ever watches that from the Midwest. So um, anything good that I find, I try to keep like in a good Google document or notes or yeah. something just to kind of come back to. Just... Um, so I'll just take that link and then save it and then kind of keep searching. Um, this is just a general travel forum on Reddit, but um, I just popped up on the screen. Jake says those are great places. He's talking about <laughs> the Midwest. I it's think we South have Dakota. a we have a Homer in the building. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and then obviously like travel blogs with itineraries are another good one to take and look at. So again, some of them can be, you have to sift through, but, um, so if you're watching this now, if you're watching this later, this is the type of stuff that we want to try to help you with because it it does take a long time to do this i mean i'm speaking from experience in the sense of i'm usually next to tara when she's doing all this stuff and it it takes a the amount of effort that she puts in to um plan these things is a long time like i think it probably equates to half of the time that we're actually on the trip but she loves it yeah i don't mind it (laughs) I think it's relaxing to her. I enjoy it. That's totally fine. I have those things that I sit and search for that I enjoy too. It's it's not this. I enjoy the. I reap the benefits of of what she does. So this is a good um, informative thing to find. Um, And again, it's just one person's preference. But Bogota might not be that great of a place to kind of base ourselves. You could fly in and out um, if it's that much cheaper, but we may want to look at looking at maybe just flying into one of the other um, cities and we could go back and redo our search too. Or we could just fly into Bogota and spend less time in Bogota too. Um, Yeah. It really depends. Sometimes it's cheaper too to like fly into a place like that and then get like a one way out of there. Yeah. Um, Definitely. definitely I mean, like. Bogota to Cartagena is twenty six dollars, so it's like exactly, yeah. If we were to search, like we could go back and search. Mm, so 
we'd want to go round trip. We'd want to go Portland. Whoops. Portland to and let's change our dates. September. Are you a beach person? Nope. Not really. <laughs> She's an actor. I figured not, yeah. Yeah. I, I really wish that I liked relaxing more. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I absolutely love relaxing. Tip would be perfectly content doing nothing but sitting on the beach. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or sitting in a, like, waiting in a pool, like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. He doesn't I need to see waiting. anything. Yeah. Like that Drake photo. That <laughs> yeah, that's what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. yeah no, I love... Drake. Mm-hmm. I'm the type of person... I know a lot of people are like, you know, I don't know what to do when I retire. Like, blah, 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 this and that. I'm like, I know exactly what I do. I wake up, golf, maybe get a workout in, maybe golf again, and then watch some TV. Relaxing is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, I mean, and again, if you just, just by changing our dates, we can find, it is a, well, there's a one stop, but we can find some good flights to Cartagena in September also. So, Mm -hmm. um, we aren't tied to just flying into Bogota, so we can add um, Cartagena, September... I just have a million tabs open, like always. <laughs> <laughs> Does your screen look like Tara's at all, ever? No. With I'm all the tabs? The tab. <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely hate tabs. I um, hate junk. When you're researching my... like this. No, I get it. That's it totally crazy. fair, but I, I can't stand them. Let's, let's have Jake tell you how many tabs are open on his computer Is right now. <laughs> Oh Jake, man, uh, Jake like me. <laughs> yeah, uh, worse. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is tame for me. Yeah, this is yeah. very tame. Yeah. Um, no, I I hate my desktop. Like when there's more than just like a few things on there, I don't, there's just something in my life that I can't. I don't know. I absolutely hate a cluttered desktop. So like yeah. when Tara. T- uses my desktop sometimes she'll just put stuff on there and i'm just like i'll let it sit for a few days or whatnot but i'm like do you need this and then i'll just (laughs) (laughs) i know that's one thing about i just i don't mind clutter anywhere else but on my desktop yeah (laughs) it's it's the weirdest thing (laughs) okay we're gonna go back um i know we kind of went backwards with the flights but it's just good to know that we have options with Mm-hmm. flying into Cartagena and now we're going to look at kind of things to do in some of those places and then also like what the accommodations look like yeah. to kind of get an idea mm-hmm. um, so again this is going to pull up again TripAdvisor Lonely Planet, some blogs best things to do that's why when re- you sorry the more uh, recent obviously the better i think when you're researching things yeah um i was gonna say that's why can... oh go ahead i i was like like you mentioned like especially with covid kind of over the last few years things have changed yeah yep. yeah i was gonna say that's why like when you travel um and you go to all these places like a lot of the owners are going to ask you, oh, will you put this on TripAdvisor? Because it's like, mm-hmm. obviously you can see Tara types it in and that's one of the first things they see right now. Yeah. So it's, that's very important to them, which I get. Yeah. If you're yeah. a searcher, you're going to, boom, TripAdvisor right away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So take a swim in the crater of a volcano. Ooh. That's pretty cool. We've yeah. done that. We did that in St. Lucia, a little mud bath. Yeah. Beach is probably out. <laughs> Party. You can go see it. Maybe take a photo. I'll go. Yeah, I'll sit on the beach for like a morning or something. <laughs> for five minutes. Okay, so obviously the town museum. Are you a museum person? 
I love museum. I was about to say okay. she's definitely a museum. Person. Gold museum. <laughs> okay, love Party that. on a Chiba bus. Oh, look at that! Yeah, this yeah, all of the that, this person looks like, like they wrote the blog for you, or whatever <laughs> Tara's on right now. Oh, goats on the road. Yeah. Hey, what's up? I know them. I mean, I don't Shout personally out know to them. Goats on the road. Yeah, we know them from our early beginning of Instagram days. Oh, funny. Um, we compete with them. Just joking. <laughs> They're a little further along than us. Yeah, just a little bit. So we have some cool. Ooh, that looks like walls. the Mayan ruins and. Street food tour, Miranda. That's Ooh. right up your alley. Sign me up for that. Absolutely. Yeah. Those okay, are so a must. Cartagena is looking very good for you right now. I would say. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, so All I'm signs write. point to Cartagena. So I'll just make a little note. I mean, you wouldn't have to make this obviously for yourself, but. Is, is, so this is another strategy and a tip is open up a Google Docs and write everything down like Tara does. Tara's gonna keep going. I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll be right back. Okay, so Cartagena is good. Let's do. Um, here so here's some more reddits popping up yeah um, four days in each do, 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 do. Paragliding. Okay. Don't buy drugs, that's important. <laughs> um, downtown free walking touring. I'm gonna look for a blog. Vibrant culture. Yeah, it's been a long time. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, so a lot of these blogs will start to give you um, info on like where to stay and yeah. all that too. So you can kind of hit some of those as you're looking at these. Um, mm -hmm. But we just want to keep looking at. Tours. Metro cable. Hello, Anthony. Thanks for joining. We got someone besides Jake in here. <laughs> um. More local food. Um, we found that food tours are the best like whenever oh. we travel yeah that is one of the best things that we always just you get your money's worth with it and then also like you have a local just showing you around and then that's where you really get like the the inside tips mm -hmm. i think like we've yeah. done several in uh, puerto vallarta and then you really get to know the host and then they um and then that's when you start to ask them, hey, where should we go? Like, where should we go to eat? Where it is? Mm -hmm. And then they, you know, if, you, if you're a friendly person and you can befriend them a little bit, they'll let you know, give you that inside scoop. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I did a walking or a food tour in Spain. And they were great. Like, the host was, like, texted afterwards and asked questions or whatever. And yeah. met up with them for a drink later on. And, yeah. Yeah. Or you go back and visit the same people that, like, you ate from on the tour you know that's what we always yeah, do is exactly. like, like oh that one was a good one let's go back mm -hmm. 
So here's like a hike, like some hikes. Um, yep. Looks like there's like 56 yeah. miles of walking trails. Mm -hmm. um, cool little village in the middle. Cafes. Traditional piano bar. It's cool. And are you a karaoke person at all? She just talked about. Just talked about <laughs> really? No. Oh, the vlog. Yeah. What? You won't step up yeah. and sing anything? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. Tara? No, Tara can throw down. She just picks really hard songs. <laughs> What's your go-to song, Tara? I don't have one. That's my problem. <laughs> she tried uh, Destiny's yeah. last time. She tried Destiny's Child, like I'm a Survivor or something, and I don't know what it was, but it was um, really hard. It was really hard. And it I'm went like, on Damn. forever. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't help. We're with our friend uh, Hashim and Sarah, and uh, she's like a great singer, and she like just like tore the tore the roof down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You definitely cannot go do karaoke with people that can actually sing. That's no fun. <laughs> no, not at all. So we should all go out and do it together sometime because we can't. Sounds like we can't sing. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, count me out. Did you take Spanish in high school? I know you said you know a little bit, but. Yeah, in high school and college. Once since, I mean, you said you've never really been to, I mean, you went to Spain, but you haven't been to like, uh, you know, South America or Central America. But like once you're there and you're after like two or three days, like for me at least, because I took it in high school and college too, it yeah. starts to come back. And then it's just like, for me, it's mostly like with different languages, they just speak so fast. So like in Spanish, yeah. I'm always like, mas despacio, por favor. <laughs> <laughs> that's one that I say quite a bit and then like yeah. oh okay this guy's giving it an effort and then they um, and then they use, they will go slower when I say that and then it's like yeah. then that's the only thing it's like my mind just needs a little bit of time to, to process what you just said yeah I get that totally I am pretty fluent like reading and writing but speaking is my low point for sure well you can always write it down on your phone and show it to them right yeah, but then my <laughs> my Michigan accent comes out. My little. I want to hear that Michigan was Spanish. <laughs> yeah, I it's bad. <laughs> my Spanish teacher was a Minnesota native, so uh, that was not the best place to learn. <laughs> <laughs> There's always Google Translate now, so that's exactly yeah. It's come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> so when it comes to like where you want to stay and stuff like. Are you a person that likes to be like in the heart of things or would you rather be, you know, kind of away than you just got to travel to it or you want to be in a hotel? Like what's your preferred way? Um, pretty good with like a, like a simple is fine, like a hostel or something like that. Um, mm -hmm. especially if it makes like getting around a little bit easier. Um, but I also like like one night in a nicer place or something like that is always fun too yeah yeah for us we're always changing it up just because mm -hmm. i mean for the blog like it's like okay we want to stay someplace close blah blah, blah him there yeah. but um i mean i think in general if i had to choose if we're in a place like going to you know cartagena or whatever it's like i'd rather be closer to the city than having yeah. to um having to like take taxis here and there like i'd rather like it seems like it's going to be more of a place that you want to walk around mm -hmm. yeah exactly so i usually just kind of search i use booking.com for a mm -hmm. lot of our um accommodations you get a good idea of price um reviews mm -hmm. like all of that stuff and you can filter by um, different things. So if you want like 
breakfast included, you can filter by those. Or if you want okay. um, only hotels and not like homestays, you can search down there by that. So, um, or like airport shuttle or free Wi-Fi, all that stuff. So there's a bunch of different options. Yeah. Um, and then you can also kind of sort by like best reviewed and lowest price. That's one mm -hmm. of my favorite top reviewed distance from closest beach if that's something that's important to people but so let's just go yeah. best reviewed and lowest price are you a person that generally eats breakfast yeah mm -hmm. okay just the reason why i bring that up is like <laughs> and we talk about this a lot in our videos but like you know in other countries depending on what country you're in breakfast isn't as important yeah. as here so like a lot of times if we can we try to find the bread and breakfast or someplace that is close to somewhere that might be open otherwise yeah. we have to either buy food and make sure because you know we're we're up pretty early so like a lot of places they don't open till 9 10 11 we're right. usually up by six so what that's another thing that we like to think about is just you know if you gotta have you gotta have food if you're <laughs> If you if you like to eat the way we do, because I know a lot of people don't eat breakfast and they're okay till ten, eleven, twelve. But for us, yeah. if Tara doesn't have food by eight thirty, nine o'clock, it's it's not going to be a good day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I put this in the questionnaire too that like I'm fine, you know, making breakfast or having just like snacks for breakfast and then eating out lunch and dinner or whatever. Yeah. Um, so that's like kind of less I think less important to me um, because I am fine going to the store and just like getting some stuff yeah we find that more to really save money as we travel is yeah. to I mean we want to um, indulge ourselves and and get in the culture but like we generally try to do at least one meal um, not eating out because it yeah. helps us it's just that much cheaper and then it's also like oh crap we gotta go out and find something else to eat whatever yeah. but but we also are type of people where when we find something that we love generally that's where we're gonna go yeah there's a lot of times where like we're there for 10 days and we'll eat at a place like six or seven times out of 10 just because it's like because we'll go somewhere else and it's like mm, that just wasn't yeah. as good as that spot yeah So on booking.com, it's nice because it'll um, rate like the location. So mm -hmm. you can see like on this, and I just filtered by hostels just to kind of give us an idea of what the hostels are looking like. Um, but yeah. it, this one is 10 locations. So that's like the best you can find essentially based on mm -hmm. people that have stayed there. So. Um, that's always nice to kind of see and kind of compare. And these, mm -hmm. I think, are still double, like, your own room. They're not a shared yeah. hostel. But you can click on it and then search down there. So, yeah, these are all, yeah, so, like, you could, if you want, get yeah. a bed in a big <laughs> storm. But they have... Mm -hmm. Um, these just standard double room. So this is for four nights, so a little bit more than a hundred dollars a night. Um, kind of gives us an idea of what they have, and it says you can look on the map and check out. And again, I have no idea about this area but um and then i look at like the reviews there's only 48 reviews but they're all pretty good, good. so mm -hmm. it's probably a pretty newer place i'm assuming yeah prime position with amazing staff so i just kind of search through there and look at like like this one is a little bit cheaper right so 273 mm -hmm. for four nights um i'm assuming it's yeah, it's beachfront because it's called the beach house, so that might not be exactly what you're looking for. Um, just depends on where things are. Again, I don't, I'm not completely 
uh, yeah. aware of where things are there, but where this one has breakfast included. Love that. Yeah. And it's a little bit cheaper. So do you care like like man, I really want a spot that's just picturesque or blah 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 is like or you just want a place that you just want to lay your head at at night. I just I just want to sleep comfortably. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So like a nice bed, like in the reviews, you're just like nice comfy bed, quiet, blah blah blah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she um I had her rate like her like, most important from mm -hmm. like budget experiences and accommodation and experiences was most important to her and then budget and then accommodation so like you know we don't necessarily need to find the most the fanciest yeah. place yeah um yeah that's why like you know a hostel is a pretty good these are all oh no this one's okay so again that price is for the mixed dorm so that's not a good option for us actually for you that would us. be fine probably <laughs> <For us we're> <laughs> <laughs> yeah good to know i mean it's an option that's there. Um, yeah, the reason why I asked that about the, you know, what you feel like is like, because to me, I mean, Tara knows it's like the place with the best view and like closest to the beach and this and that or this feature. And then I'm like, oh, that's dope. Like book that. <laughs> you know? So like, that's just me personally. Like I love, I love being able to have a cool spot because I do want after Relax. those days those long days i'm like okay well i just want to go back and make sure i can sit by that pool or enjoy that view or whatever it is yeah but by the time i get back in to my room i'm usually just like <laughs> yeah. so, as long as the shower is good and the bed is fine and yeah. i can sleep <laughs> anywhere so mm. yeah same yeah <laughs> That, that party bus we looked at earlier, I could sleep there if we needed to. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm opposite of that, right? So I need, I'm more, uh, I'm up longer than her and whatever, so I, I like the extra comforts. Yeah. So. So this is a single room with a shared bathroom. So that's pretty cool. It's. Oh, that's not bad. It is nice. See, that's what a lot of our places end up looking like is yeah. because you can save a lot more money doing something like, I mean, that place is super nice, mm -hmm. but like avoiding the hotels and all of that, like that's, and we end up in our videos, we end up getting a lot of people asking, oh, where's that Airbnb or where's that spot is because you got to mm -hmm. take a little bit of time to yeah. search, to search and find that, you know, yeah. so. Yeah. But this one is 253 for four nights breakfast included which obviously is um nice yeah. and the nice thing about booking.com for the most part a lot of them are going to be free cancellation up until a certain you know like yeah. some of them are like a few days before some of them are like a week before mm -hmm. <clears throat> so you can always book this and then come back in and cancel it if you find something else which is i'm notorious for yeah. that like i'll book 10 different places <laughs> and then decide decide later yeah. um as long as you look at the you know the terms, everything yeah. is good. And set set some um, reminders to cancel it yes. when it comes close. Yeah, um, that looks like a really good option. Yeah, this is a good. Um, so again, I just like to take that link and add it here. Whoa, that was a big link. What? <laughs> Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> that would drive me crazy in there. Well, it's not your... I know, job. I'm just saying, it would drive me crazy. So let's take a look at... Um, Medellin. for solo travelers that's good we're gonna go one more night to even it out it's 
Sorry, I'm just fascinated at watching her work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go hostels again. Do you know anything about Colombia at all? Like in general? No, outside of just random stuff? Yeah. yeah. Pablo Escobar. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, I would love that hotel with the pool. Yeah. Like, that That draws my attention. Like, damn. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. This is a good location. Let's see what. So this is mixed dorm. <coughs> Click my screen as if it's going to move stuff around on yours. Is your passport current or in there? Just wondering. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For a <laughs> few more years. Yeah, that is important to make sure that we. Yeah. I don't know how people make it to like the week before their trip and they're like, oh my oh god, my god. passport is firing. And I'm like, what do you mean? No. <laughs> yeah. We would never do that. Well, you're a planner no. too, so that's part of it. Yeah. <laughs> so this would be mixed dorm, but it's only like $100 for like four nights. Yeah, that looks um, good, honestly. So super cheap. Um, you know, looks clean and nice yeah which is what you want um breakfast is available daily da 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 three minute walk from the park so when we were your your age you know in our 20s i used to be okay with stuff like that but now yeah. as <laughs> i've gotten older and i'm approaching 40 if tara brings up anything similar to that with the shared room or whatnot it's uh generally a hard no well, yeah <laughs> i get that which is totally fine i'm not knocking anybody for that but uh also because you have a harder time sleeping i do yeah so for you yeah. it's not like you, uh -huh. you don't sleep that well for me i yeah. can i mean oh she could sleep yeah. anywhere yeah but like we've yeah. had you know we've stayed in hostels and whatnot and it's just like and I'll try to sleep. I mean, I got my AirPods now, but like sleeping with headphones, it's just for me, it doesn't doesn't bode too well. So yeah, I I sleep yeah. very lightly. So yeah, just getting old and grumpy. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> um, okay, so we have um, Cartagena in Medellin. And we can add Bogota in there if we want, but um, I'm wondering if maybe one of these other... I feel like those two spots will be good from like what I've heard about people going there. Like no one's ever really said, oh, you got to go to Bogota. But like it's yeah. always Medellin and Cartagena that I, that I hear from people. But that's just what I've heard from word of mouth, but like, yeah. Well, there's also, I mean, there's other, like some of these other smaller towns, like this one is that looks like a, more in the fun. mountains. Yeah. Yeah. So like you could add something like a like coffee growing to, region. Yeah. So if we look yeah. at, Santo. remember she likes being busy. She doesn't want to just relax. Mm -hmm. I know. There's a lot of stuff to do in those cities. Yeah. We're just covering our options for now. Mm -hmm. So this would be like a... These ones probably actually have really cool little spots in the... I was going like, to say like even like maybe a nicer place in... Mm -hmm. Since it's just like a couple of nights, that would be fun. A more boutique option, I guess. Yeah. See. 
I don't know if you do this, but like before trips, since I don't do much of the planning, but like once she tells us where we're going and we start to get close, I start to YouTube where we're going and <laughs> start to like pump myself up and see what's there. Yeah, I'll do like some of that definitely beforehand. Um, or like if I still haven't kind of really figured out exactly what I want to do or like ha even have like an idea kind of on the way over, I'll start Googling and be like, okay, mm -hmm. I, these are the things that I like, are, I really want to go do. <laughs> For sure. And hopefully they fit in the space that I've provided for myself. Yeah. I mean, after talking to you, you're long overdue for this, for a yeah, trip definitely. out yeah. of your hometown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I know. Jake, Jake and I have it on our, like, goals for next year to travel somewhere that's not to see our families. You mean this year? Yeah, yes, I guess this year. Okay, <laughs> it is January 1st, it 2024 is. right now. <laughs> Yeah, and that's the thing is, it's like, you just got to do that first one, and then it just keeps rolling, right? Yeah. Like, for us, during the pandemic, we hadn't traveled for probably two years internationally, which, like, to us, that's brutal. And then we went to Mexico, and then I think, like, three or four months later, we went to Jamaica, and then it, it just, off. you know, yeah, exactly. And then now it's yeah. like, if we don't do our regular three to four months of getting on a plane somewhere internationally, like, I want to start to rip my hair out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like getting a tattoo or going on a powerlifting, or having, going to a powerlifting meet, like. Yeah, exactly. All of a sudden you're like, okay, I want to do more of mm -hmm. those now. Yeah, exactly. You're like, man, why haven't we done this in so long? And why are we just. Yeah. It's addicting. Going mm -hmm. home, which, no, I get, I get it. Going home is fun and, you know, it's good to see, which to us, we're, we're already home because our family yeah. lives here, but I get it. To us, it's that's just a, a day visit to you. You gotta mm -hmm. actually go see your family. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my internet has like slowed down immensely. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, this one has some cool. Yeah, that looks super cool. Cool yes. views. To me, I'm like, yep. I don't even need to see more. I give up. Yeah. And it's still pretty reasonable. It's like obviously a double oh, yeah. room, so you're on your own. But three nights. Um, yeah. Wow, that's the price for three nights. Yeah, it just depends on if you want to do like non-refundable. It's a little bit cheaper, or mm -hmm. you can choose this option for free cancellation, which I usually yeah. always go with free cancellation. But yeah. Um, and some of these will have like, um, like Mountain View. So that's going to be a yeah. little bit more expensive. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it's whoa. That's pretty dope. I think that's worth yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you know, you pay maybe a hundred dollars more, but you have a view like that. So it's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Um. Yeah, so. when she asks, what place do you think I should book? Uh, generally, we're like, I go off the woe factor. If I look at the, <laughs> that first picture or whatever, I'm like, damn, that's what I want to see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so then the only other thing we need to do since we've added Salento in is kind of check out how, like. yeah, what, we, what, what it takes to get there. Um, mm -hmm. And how to get to Santa? Oh, yeah. It's so crazy how you can just type anything into mm -hmm. <laughs> a search bar. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. I remember in the days where you couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. Get off my lawn. You're aging yourself. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm old, I know. I'm almost. Almost 40. So we're going to reach out to the Columbia Tourism Board and have them get ready for you. Perfect. <laughs> you get picked up at the airport, just 
that special fit to travel VIP service. Yeah, can you also have them pay for some of those? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Let's see. Well, you know, if this thing blows up, this uh, live that we're trying to do, then we might help chip in a little bit. Yeah, yeah, everybody watching, yeah, add a few dollars. Right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we can definitely do something where we help chip in if we can make some money. Yeah, use me for content. <laughs> <laughs> so... Like there's a non-stop, non-stop without luggage included, or there's a one-stop... Yeah. Um, to Medellin, so maybe let's see. Would this it be like, like a? There might be some like bus op- bus options as well, which may be better. Would you be uh on a trip like this? Would this be like a backpack trip, or you you're doing you know a carry on and a check bag or? Yeah, I'm probably I'm probably gonna take like a like a mm, carry on and a backpack. Mm-hmm. Especially if I'm going solo. Yeah. Okay, so it's better to fly from, I mean, better being yeah. nonstop from Medellin um, to Salento. Okay. But like you said, you could probably do the bus also. Mm-hmm. Um, There's a lot that goes into this. <laughs> because Salento has like this national park that you could visit. Cool. A little bit more like. Sounds right up active, your alley. Active things, I think, than. Yeah. Um, Cheapest way on the bus is sixteen dollars. Whoa! How long is that trip? Eight hours. <laughs> Eight hours. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, maybe that flight might be better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, that's one thing. <laughs> As we've that. traveled a lot more, it's like, I mean, you know, it all depends on your budget and the time that you have, right? So it's like, to yeah. me, it's not, it's not really about the money. It's more about that eight hours as versus a uh, 50 minute yeah. flight. Yeah, uh, but I, I mean, you still have to get like to the airport early. I mean, you know, you still yeah. add like, okay, so it'll be three, three hours total, three, four, you know, yeah. by, by that time. But yeah, it's like, you know, it's one of those options of it's only $40 well, for the flight. Yeah, I also get motion sickness. So the bus oh. for eight hours, maybe <laughs> six hours too long right. to be on a bus. <laughs> yeah scratch that my thing with those long buses is like i always have to go to the bathroom a lot so like when are we stopping like i need to know (laughs) can you let me know you know like if i don't know then it's bad news so (laughs) i would pick the flight for sure but um bus is another option eight hours whoops um So looking off that, I would kind of spend... Cartagena definitely looked like more things for you to do. So I would spend probably like five days there. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe three or four in Medellin. And, you know, the other couple days in Salento. Yeah, Yeah, because you can pop over. um, And we didn't really look. We just did like a round trip to Cartagena. But Mm -hmm. um, we could always do... Mm, multi flight which... this is where Tara starts to get crafty mm-hmm. can get a little complicated obviously um, but if we have some options so go to Cartagena what did we fly into September down. 
and when you're doing this type of stuff, it's it's good to know and prep for like what you're gonna experience. Like, you know, on paper now, as you're booking this stuff, it's like, oh, okay. Like, okay, that's cheap, that's this, the price is this, and we gotta, we just gotta take a flight, and we gotta take a bus, and this and that. But then when you actually are there, and you have your luggage with you, and, and whatnot, then it's like, there are times where sometimes you forget, and you don't realize, like, oh, crap, this is a lot of movement with all this stuff. Um, yeah, totally. And, like, if you're okay with it, and you're prepped for it, that's totally fine. But it's like, yeah. my parents... We just came with us to Southeast Asia, and we had a bunch of luggage. And like for us, we're fine. You know, we're in our thirties, but my parents are in their sixties and seventies, and they it was tough for them to try to keep up with one of our trips. Yeah. But they said they wanted to, so they gave it a shot. But then it was yeah. like afterwards, they're like, uh, I don't ever want to do this again with you. So yeah. it's you know, it's like uh, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. Right. That's where, too, like the saving the money over, you know, like saving money and having to do a little bit more maneuvering around like the airport or bus or whatever mm -hmm. gets a little bit tiresome. But um, so just going off a multi-city trip, you could go mm -hmm. um, into Cartagena and then out of Medellin. Mm -hmm. um, you'd have two stops coming back, but they're fairly quick. Go to Bogota and then Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um so that's another option too where you can just do that oh, yeah, for 769 yeah that's a great deal too yeah so Look then all you have to do is um you know get from Cartagena to Medellin and then you could do your Salento yeah. in between there and yeah. everything else is is pretty much set so it kind of gives you an idea of mm -hmm. you know September 11th to 25th. Into Medina for 769, I think. Oops. This one. And then from there, it'll just take you to the main thing. Tabs for days. Yep. Yeah. I can see why now. Yep, I can see it now. I can see it now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any um, questions on anything that we've gone over or anything else that you want me to like research a little bit before we wrap things up? I don't think so. This is really helpful. And good, good to see kind of like some of the options and yeah. also have some, some other people to talk about it, especially if it's like a solo trip, you kind of get caught up in your own thoughts sometimes. Yeah. It's nice to like bounce ideas off, you know, yeah. people and people. <laughs> um, but like you said, like brainstorm on what looks good and what doesn't. And then you can just from there, you have options to like, oh, I'm in a book, you know, a couple tours while I'm in Cartagena, like obviously the food tour and um, yeah. the volcano and that kind of stuff there. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you can go back through and look at the must do's. Like I always try to do like, okay, this is my for sure. These three things are for sure what I'm going to do. And then I can fill in the rest around there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The only other thing for anybody watching that um, is new to booking trips is I would, we didn't do it on this one, but I would just kind of do a quick Google search on um, like Columbia travel uh, info. So like with COVID, are there any things that you need to do? Um, I don't really look at, like, is it safe to travel to those places? Sometimes there's, <laughs> you know, a lot of advisories. Obviously, be smart in where you're going. But um, more so on, like, are there anything that you need to do before you enter the country? Do you need a visa? Um, That's a big that one. That kind of stuff to to look at. Vaccine. Yes. Vaccine, yeah. Yep. So visa is not required for 90 days or less. 
yellow fever vaccination is required coming from certain countries or visiting certain national parks. Yeah. Um, and so you can just kind of look through there on all that stuff, but it's good to be aware, um, of what is needed before you like get on the plane Mm -hmm. or, or don't because you're not able to. Yeah. Um, so that's, um, obviously something like, obviously this is, a an advisory, but again, I not saying don't pay attention to it, but some of them just are a little out there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like Jamaica. Like yeah. I say that about Jamaica. Oh yeah. hundred percent. Every time we go to Jamaica, we'd have people say, Oh my God, it's so dangerous there. And it's like, it's dangerous if you, In- yeah, go to certain areas, wherever. Yeah. So people say that um, about Portland all the time, though. Oh, 100 yeah. percent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like you live there. <laughs> well, Marinda, thank you so much for donating 90 minutes of your time yes. to yeah, be our guinea pig today. That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hopefully this was helpful. And then, Definitely. you know, hopefully uh, you book this trip and then maybe. Maybe we'll go on it with you. Who knows? Yeah, if it's in September, awesome. yeah. It looks. I, I mean, after yeah, watching yeah. this, we might go with you, especially <laughs> if it's. If it was May, we couldn't because we're going somewhere else. But September, that might yeah. be something we can do. But right. thank you yeah. very much. You have a good day and happy New Year. Yeah, happy New Year, guys. Okay. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, that's not the one I wanted. No, nope, that's not what I want either. Hang tight. I want just this. All right. <laughs> there it is. Thanks for everybody. Our first live where to next travel segment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hopefully that was um, informational. It was our first one, so we're kind of bumbling through it. Working out the kinks. Yeah, working out the kinks, but we're going to try our best to do this once a month and then like we said we're gonna have a um a patreon and then we're gonna pick somebody from one of our patreons and we'll send you the questionnaire and then um we'll kind of help you plan that trip kind of get you started on that process so if you guys enjoy this please give it a thumbs up a like a share whatever it is but yeah we plan on doing this at least once a month and then hopefully we can start doing more yeah, if you have any questions about our travel planning process, just drop a comment down below um, and we'll get to that. Um, but like Tip said, if you are interested in being one of our like um, guinea pigs, as we like to call them, <laughs> for our travel planning, join our Patreon. Um, the link is down below. And, and then once a month, uh, somebody will be picked. So um, otherwise, we hope you enjoyed that and found that useful. I know it can be very confusing when you're going to book a trip, but um, it's nice to kind of have a idea of what the travel planning process will look like. And again, as you do it, it becomes easier. So don't get too um, overwhelmed if you're just starting out. Like I have learned over time and I go fast, but I have a lot of practice. So just keep working on it and it will get easier. Yep. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, Happy New Year. 2024, it's time to start planning those trips. So we already have one planned. See you later. Peace.